Ukraine submits the second part of the completed application form to the European Union for consideration as an EU candidate country. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky organized a video meeting with the President of the European Commission, during which he presented the second part of the completed questionnaire. The head of the state also expressed his gratitude to the head of the European Commission for the evident support of Ukraine. Today we have taken one more step, a very important and not only formal one on the way to the European Union. Ukraine has sent the second part of answers to a special questionnaire that every country applying for EU membership must fill in, the president said. The president stressed that it usually takes months, but Ukraine did everything in a couple of weeks. You know exactly that we are struggling now not only for our freedom but also for the freedom of all Europeans. The head of the European Commission said she was amazed at how quickly our officials filled out the questionnaire. And I was happy to hear that our speed encourages the European Commission to act equally fast. We expect a positive response to our country's EU candidate status in June, he concluded. By the way, the US president signed a bill to revive, lend lease, the World War II program that helped defeat Hitler's Germany by allowing Washington to lease military equipment to US allies more quickly. I am grateful to the President of the United States and the Americans for supporting Ukraine in the fight for our freedom and future. Today's Lend-Lease Act signing is a historic step. I am convinced that together we will win again and protect democracy in Ukraine. And in Europe, as we did 77 years ago, wrote Zelensky. Prime Minister Denis Schmeigel also commented on the signing of the law. He called the Lend-Lease Bill one of the main factors of the victory of the anti-Hitler coalition over Nazism. According to the Prime Minister, history is repeating itself. The bill's signature means more weapons and other aid for Ukrainian soldiers to defeat the Russian invaders. The supply of American weapons will now not be restricted by any additional procedures, which will speed up their provision, Schmeigel explained. Zelensky also communicated with the head of the European Council via video link, who had arrived in Odessa the day before. President Zelensky reported this in Telegram communicated with the president of the European Council, who visited Odessa. It is important to prevent a food crisis in the world, caused by the aggressive actions of Russia, stressed the president. He emphasized the need to take urgent measures to unblock Ukrainian ports for the export of wheat. I appreciate the courageous position of the president of the European Council and his presence in Odessa. I am grateful for the EU's constant support of our country in many aspects, Vladimir Zelensky added.